Good morning, friends. The Honorable High Court of Kerala, Justice Anil Kumar, while disposing the case of <clears throat> I will actually revision case of C R Raju S I Koni P S versus State of Kerala and another person by name Satish Kumar held that slapping the complainant by the police, slapping on cheeks of the complainant by the police does not come and uh, it does come under the due discharge of uh, official duty. So no protection under section 197 CRPC can be given to such persons. So while disposing uh, the revision petition number <coughs> 3366 by 2007 against the taking cognizance of uh, the CC number 266 by 2005, the High Court uh, uh, Justice Anil Kumar held like this. Now, our subject is what is 197 CRPC, how it is not held here. So, first of all, let us read the contents of 197 CRPC. So, 197 CRPC gives uh, a protection. That means, uh, unless sanction is given by the government, uh, that person, the public servant, the judicial officer, whoever may be the person, he cannot be uh, prosecuted. That is the crux of section 197 CRPC. It says like this, 197 CRPC says, prosecution of judges and public servants. Any person, judge or public officer, not removable from the office except by the sanction of the government, if he is accused of any offence, alleged to have been committed in the discharge of official duty, right, then the court shall not take cognizance unless the sanction is given by the state. Here two points are necessary. Number one, he should be a public officer. That two, he should not be, he cannot be removed unless by the orders of the government. That means he must have been recruited by the government. For example, in Andhra Pradesh, the police constable up to the rank of SI, they are being appointed or they are being recruited by the AP Police uh, uh, Selection Board or Establishment Board, which is a government agency but not the government. Right. Second is discharge of official duty. Please remember, a policeman is supposed to be on duty for 24 hours. But discharge of duty means when he is acting as a police constable, then it comes as a discharge of duty. Now, let's go back to the case facts. Right. Normally, you may be knowing, a revision comes under uh, 397 CRPC and also 401 CRPC. 397 says they can call the High Court and things, uh, they can call for the documents. A regular provision is 401 CRPC. So, the SI CR Raju of Konni PS in uh, Patanam Thitta, District of Kerala State, he filed a criminal revision petition before the Honorable High Court of uh, Kerala against the orders of JFCM 2 Patanam Thitta regarding that uh, CC 266 by 2005. Right. The facts of the case are like this. On 15-3-2005, the SI police CR Raju sent word to the so-called <coughs> second accused or second appellant uh, <coughs> Satish Kumar to come to the police station to inquire into an allegation filed by Mr. Mohanan. Right. So as per the uh, notice from the police, Mr. Satish Kumar went to the police station. Of course, the petition inquiry was done. During the course of inquiry, the SI slapped Satish Kumar on his cheeks in the presence of Mohanan and he felt very bad. Of course, later he was let off. He went to the house, but he was uh, actually uh, aggrieved by the treatment of the police officers. Therefore, he a police SI. Therefore, he went to the government hospital, got himself admitted got a medical certificate of course the hospital authorities sent an intimation to the op head constable who recorded the statement but no case was registered ultimately satish kumar filed a private complaint before the honorable jfcm 2 at patnam theta and it was taken on file as a cc 266 by 2005 and summons were issued to the si <clears throat> right, he attended the court. Of course, he did not plead guilty. His lawyer stated that he was in the discharge of his official duty. He might have slapped him like that, but the court did not agree. So they wanted to proceed with the trial. Uh, during the uh, yes, definitely the evidence of PW1 was also over at that time. 
aggrieved by the order of the JFCM regarding 197 CRPC, this man approached the Honorable High Court. So, the advocate on behalf of uh, the SI, he stated that uh, the JFCM did not consider uh, the uh, official duty of the SI and uh, no protection could be given 197 CRPC, even though 197 CRPC says uh, sanction is necessary, but the magistrate did not obtain any sanction. Straight away he took it in on file and now he started the so-called trial also. These are the allegations. Uh, these are the attributions by the advocate on behalf of the SI. And uh, in this connection, when the judge asked, uh, the advocate stated that <coughs> In connection with a petition inquiry, Satish Kumar was called to the police station under section 160 CRPC and during the course of inquiry, he used the minimum force and actually that he also says that this act was done in the discharge of his official capacity. Right, but the public prosecutor on behalf of the state stated that the action of the a sub-inspector of police in assaulting or in slapping uh, Satish Kumar was not in the due discharge of shift capacity and no sanction under 197 CRPC is necessary. Right? The court also agreed uh, with the same because when the protection comes, when the protection under 197 CRPC comes only when the act was done in the discharge of official duty. To be clear, I will tell you. Suppose if uh, uh, Mr. The SI police uh, entered the house of Satish Kumar and uh, he wanted to search for something. If uh, Satish Kumar raised objection and then if force was used by the SI, yes, it is in the discharge of official duty. Second, when the SI went to arrest uh, Satish Kumar and if he uh, raises objection or if he refuses to surrender, if force is used, yes, it is in the discharge of the official duty. But nowhere is mentioned uh, that uh, whenever a person comes uh, during the course of an inquiry, he can be beaten, he can be slapped. It is definitely not in the discharge of official duty. Very categorically, PP also stated like that. Right? No sanction under 197 CRPC can be given to him. Right? Now, the court also agreed with this and the court is of the view that uh, the revision petitioner is not allowed uh, to <coughs> get protection under 197 CRPC as it is not in the discharge of official duty, right? And therefore, the trial court can continue with the proceedings as per law and uh, the revision petition is uh, dismissed. So, please remember where 197 CRP is applies and where 197 CRP does not apply. This video will be useful to both the police officers and also the advocates. Police officers should know that uh, you should know the difference between on duty and discharge of official duty. And uh, please remember, according to section 46 CRPC and somewhere in the CRPC, it is stated that the police can use a minimum force when the accused is absconding, when he is not, when he is, when he rebels against you, that's all. In other aspects, you should not use the force. And secondly, as the advocates, you have to know, 197 PRC, two points are important. The person, the officer should have been directly recruited by the government. If he is not recruited by the government, then definitely no sanction is necessary. Second point, the act done should be in the discharge of official duty, not on duty. Everybody, a judge is supposed to be on duty for 24 hours. A police officer is supposed to be on duty for 24 hours, no doubt. But whenever he is discharging as sub-inspector, the functions of a police officer, yes, then there is some possibility for get protection. But therefore, in my view, Please remember, 197 CRPC applies to persons, officers who are selected by the government, like Public Service Commission only, not by the other agencies. That's number one. Number two, it should be in the discharge of official duty. It definitely is a protection. Why Lokpal uh, is not adding the Prime Minister as one of the respondents? Because, so if you make a law, uh, 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 that uh, so-called uh, Prime Minister also in the list, uh, everybody will uh, send petitions against him and it will be the duty of the Prime Minister daily attend before the Jalokpal and therefore Prime Minister and other dignities are not. 
Therefore, a public servant who does the duty with so much of uh, something will happen, but he should be protected. That is where 197 PCRPC lies. It's a good judgment. So, discharge of official duty, on duty, and protection on the 197 CRPC we have dealt with. And please uh, enrich your knowledge by studying the case law. This case law is uh, that is uh, C. R. Balaji, C. R. Raju, SI versus State of Kerala and Satish Kumar 2020. Thank you.